Okay, today we have an iPhone 10. The problem is unable to turn on. We suspect the logic board is shorted. So how do we check the logic board is shorted? We can check by using power supply. So connect the cable on it, bring it up. We give some voltage in. If it draw the power before we turn it on, like this, on the left meter, this is definitely something is shorted. This is 1.4 now, it's already consumed all the power. Before repair, we need to take a look in the motherboard condition. We hit the board, it's been repaired before because we are afraid they created a mess, make us harder to detect the original problem. So the board seems good. Yeah. Okay, now we check with a thermal camera. When we connect the power, the faulty component will be hot. Sometimes we are lucky the problem is on the surface. I'm gonna show you the vision from the camera. We apply the voltage to the port now. It is normal that the cable is showing heat. But all the other plates should be cold. Hmm. Look at here. This is not normal when this port is hot. And the heat doesn't come from cable. Really high chance another IC is beneath here creating the heat. Anyway, we should measure the battery line first. Because when the board is shuttered, we need to know which section of the board is the problem. The first section is the battery line. We can use multimeter to check. So we measure the resistance. Resistance is 436. It is normal. So the problem isn't on this section, not the battery line problem. It is the second section. I'm going to show you the max stop of the voltage line. Okay, now we're going to check the schematic drawing. Okay, now we're looking at iPhone 10 schematic drawing. First, we need to locate the battery connector to see how the power gets in. So, all these highlighted components are the first section to get the power. And there will be another IC in here. This guy will pass on the power to the next section. So, these all highlighted components are considered a second section to get the power. There is another IC to pass the power on into the third section. Yeah, all here. So, if battery line is okay, we're going to check the second and the third section. We're going to open inside the board to find out. The iPhone 10 logic board has two layers. We're going to use a creator to dismantle it. The creator is specially designed for iPhone 10. Before that, we must do this. There's a sticker on top. We need to cut it. Here, just a slice to separate them, put a screw on top, and then wait for a few minutes. By the way, the predator is mechanic. It supports from 10 to 10 SMS. This product is not bad. The temperature is fixed, cannot be adjusted. It limited the temperature to a very safe degree. I was told that they heated the board for a whole day. Nothing affected, no problem. The board was working fine. However, I only like it, it is because it is small and compact. Okay, now it's ready to take it off. We pick it up from here, holding the screw I put on earlier, so the board can lift off nicely, put it aside to cool down, and then the lower board. Be careful when we are doing this, because too much strength will damage the board, especially when it is hot. Put it aside. We must land the board gently also. Turn it off. Okay, this mental process is done. Next, we're going to look at these two boards by using microscope to check any abnormal damage. Hmm, so far okay. No visible damage. Now we check with power supply again to know which port is the problem, the top or the bottom. Confirm the problem on the top layer. Okay, now we look at thermal camera again. The hottest one is not the problem, but the second pinging one that's the problem. I will show you. I'm going to explain that in schematic drawing. This is an iPhone 10 schematic drawing on the same page. The left two are the top layer board. The right two are the bottom layer board. Now we click on the battery connector. We can see the first to receive the power is this guy. It is the first section. Before the second section gets the power, there's one IC acting as a gate. This IC will pass on the power into the next section. And just now, the thermal camera seeing this guy is the hottest one. 
when we were looking from the top, the heat was coming from this spot. Exactly beneath this spot is that IC. When this section has any broken component, it will keep leaking all the voltage current, overdrawing the power from that IC. And this is why it is the hottest one. Now I'm going to show you how to find the problem without the thermal camera. By supplying a direct power into this section. We are going to use a jumper, direct connect to the power supply. This is the IC, we don't need to remove it. We can just direct jump the power into the next section, like this. I would pick an easy spot there. Okay, now we see what's the difference with the thermal camera. I will be repeating the voltage high low high low like that. That's why you will see it's blinking slowly. Okay, now we can see the jumper we made is blinking. And there's another one blinking in the middle. That's the real problem. This IC won't be hot anymore. So then we can even use finger to feel which one is the problem. From this point, we can use our old technique to locate the real problem. If we don't have the thermal camera, then the common technique would be the rosin and the freezer. Some people would even use water or their finger to touch the component one by one to feel which one is the hotter. Now I'm going to zoom in the problem. Now I'm constantly sending the voltage and I'm going to point for you this here. This is the capacitor I'm going to show you in schematic. In the schematic drawing, it is exactly on this spot. The part name is C2856. Once we remove this, the problem will be gone. This is a very common issue in the iPhone 10. Okay, now we remove the jumper. We are not going to use it anymore. Begin to remove the faulty capacitor. Okay, we need to cut the black glue that's surrounding the capacitor. Do it carefully. We don't want to crack anything, especially the power IC. There's little crack on the coin tower, but it is fine. And then we push it off from a very safe angle. Like this. Okay. Now we test with power supply again. There should be no more shutting or leaking. Okay, yes, good, no more. We need clean up and test with a tool. Before we assemble, we use a tool to temporarily combine both layers to test. Mijing C11. I'll take model, don't buy it. Here's how it looks with an extension cable to connect LCD. Put on the LCD, connect to the power supply, turn it on. Now it is running. We have longer. Let's wait until it enters the iOS. Let's try to touch. Okay, they are all safe. Now it's ready to assemble. Before we reassemble, we need to revolve. Low time solder place 138 Celsius.
bean. Check surrounding. Okay. Normally we use Preheater to install it back, but this time I'm going to install it by hot air for fun. It will be a boring video if we use the Preheater. I wanna make this video as POV. We will ask for the partial, so then we can test the rest of the function.